Tonight, so many in our area are still fighting to get a vaccine, yet at the same time, plenty are fighting to survive, fighting for every dollar they have. Right now, more than 10 million remain unemployed, mostly from the pandemic. 18 million are still getting unemployment benefits. Now that money meant to help could catch many by surprise as tax day nears. News Force Kim St. Anj is watching out for you, finding ways to make every single dollar count. That's what we all want, right? With so many people who were out of jobs last year because of this coronavirus pandemic, many people, some of you maybe picked up jobs as drivers of maybe Uber, Postmates, DoorDash, just to make some money to maybe make ends meet. Of course, the income is nice, but now this tax expert is saying that could lead to some not so fun surprises when you go to file your tax return. Well, this time is crazy. It's always a crazy time of year for us. What may be even crazier is the amount some end up having to pay on taxes this year, especially if you were on unemployment for the first time. So the surprise has been that those unemployment benefits are taxable income. And if the if the individuals did not have withholding, they may have a nasty tax bill. The amount you owe depends on how much you make. David Smith, a CPA with Smith Patrick PC, says most people should prepare to pay a tax rate of 20 to 25 percent on those benefits. There is a way this could have been avoided. One thing they could have done would be to request withholding from those unemployment benefits. Meaning asking the government to hold on to more money throughout the year. Many who were shorted on hours or left unemployed by the coronavirus outbreak were forced to pick up other jobs like Uber, Postmates, or DoorDash. That too is taxable. What might be also a kind of a nasty surprise is that if you were performing those services during the year, that income, it's not only is it taxable income to you, but it's self-employment business income. There is good news. You will not be taxed on stimulus money you received. There is also still time to decrease the amount you'll owe on this year's tax returns. One option is contributing money to an individual retirement account or IRA. You can deduct however much you put in from your deductible income. Relax, breathe, take a step back um, and talk to your advisor early. Some other good news, there are efforts from Congress right now that will hopefully offer some relief. If it is passed, of course, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin, he introduced a bill recently, and this would essentially waive any of those federal income taxes you would pay on the first $10,200 on unemployment benefits that you received last year. Again, that is not yet passed. He has introduced that bill. Live downtown, Kim St. Ange, News 4.